Hey everybody, welcome back. This is another episode of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, this is Rusty here. We're working on Chapter 10, the Darkwater Police Station. With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the Dimensional Shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You were being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious in what you've said. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. Don't you worry. I'll find some. You're going to waste time and effort on me while terrible things are happening on this island. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? There's a bunch of fanatics who are attacking this island's most ancient beliefs. I suppose these are the ones who desecrated the statue of St. Brendan. While I'm looking at a man who burned down a hospital. Influential people from your community are part of it, operating in the shadows. You got a real imagination, detective. There was a tunnel leading to their hideout under the Hawkins mansion, but it caved in. Oh, how very convenient. Right. Enough time wasted. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Is he not going to show me to my new residence? Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet at last. Oh, that's not Who's good. There? Uh, that's really not good. So, I can't jump, I can't swim. I am the one men named Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. Which I came to share with you, human. Well, that can't be good. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. Uh. Excellent. Don't think I'm getting Your out of this. Your mind has begun to expand. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. You are here to access the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you Particularly those with such rare characteristics cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. 
Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Where is the Oracle? Is she not the very object of your quest? I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... You may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! Yeah. I knew it! No! Not again! <laughs> I'm playing as Sarah Hawkins. Algernon, come back! You go down or come this way? Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. Alright, one person there. Two people there. It's a handy letter. No way back. Yeah, I don't think these people are alive. How many are there? That's not good. Alright, so we have two people up there. Everybody else seems to be dead. Bet you that's going to be Cat and Algonon. I don't like how there's so much oil sitting around and blood being pulled into those cracks and crevices. This ain't gonna be good. So there's lamp oil right there. How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, 
This zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. Hey. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Wasn't I supposed to have that amulet so the Shambler could get me? The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Oh, that ain't cool. Stay away from those. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. have appeared somewhere on the floor. <sighs> Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The glyph is ready, sir. Oh, 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 come on. <sighs> the second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. <sighs> Find and destroy the second glyph. Man, it just takes way too long. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Yeah, I'm sure it's right in front of one of those openings. That is what I'm doing. Yeah, I am. I am. Oh, there it is. safety. You started me, my friend. I have the impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate I need some actions. oil. Yeah, I'd say The it second is. glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. It did, it did. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Where are you at? Oh, ho, ho. Too close. Alright. Alright, so the first glyph is the second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah.
the impression the shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. All right, so I have to do this one a little by little. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. get complicated. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Also means it's going to be the furthest away. come from there. That is not the spot. No, that was not the spot. The glyph is near. I'm sure of it. There, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. <sighs> the glyph is near. I'm sure of it. The glyph is near. I'm sure of it. Alright, so, okay, so that one is still there. The glyph is near. How I'm many sure are of there? I'll never forgive myself for this painting.
Where have I not been? We're almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. That Do you thing. hear something? I can hear him. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. It's too late. I must resist! Please! Don't! Looks like we're summoning Cthulhu. Alright everybody, that was chapter 10. Thank you guys for coming out and hopefully you'll come back and join me for chapter 11 at the Darkwater Police Station. Till next time, take it easy guys.